Hey guys, and welcome to a special episode of the Geek Index Gamers Cast. Uh, this is not an official episode. This is just our E3 post post E3 coverage, and it was one hell of a E3 this year. Mad surprises, interesting games, and uh, obviously some stuff we were looking forward to, and then some really bad stuff. It's E3. It's always a mix of all. It's the roller but, uh, coaster of emotion. Is it? <laughs> In my opinion. Okay. All right, we're just going to get straight to it. And uh, the first conference was on Sunday, and it was Bethesda. Bethesda. The, 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 yeah. I can't ever pronounce it. And let's let's just go over the bets we made before we start. This. Yes, let us review. <laughs> I My first pick was a Doom a gameplay trailer. Uh-huh. Then a new Dishonored 2 would be announced, and a new Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein. You went with a Doom CGI trailer, Mm -hmm. new Dishonored, and Fallout 4 gameplay. Yes. Gabe went with new Evil Within, new Elder Scrolls, and new Wolfenstein. Let's see uh, how many we get out of the first one. So let's start off with what Bethesda did start off with. They started off with Doom. Doom. And it wasn't a CGI trailer. <laughs> no trailer. Nope. I mean, it was a trailer because they weren't playing it live. That's true. Or you can just say it a gameplay a showcase yeah. because it wasn't played live. They just showed a gameplay footage. So it's a gameplay trailer. Yeah. If you want to, then I get one point. <laughs> because I said gameplay. You said CGI. Yeah. So they showed off 10 minutes of single player footage. About yeah, 10 that's minutes. a gameplay trailer. And then right afterwards, they went straight to Doom multiplayer. And uh, actually, before we move on to multiplayer, what did you think of the video of Doom? Mm-hmm. I thought it was pretty interesting. It was uh, as fast-paced as I remember Doom. I mean, like, I never really played the... Fr- I only played, like, five minutes of the first one. <laughs> on the original Windows? Yes. <laughs> all, all the pixels and, and shit. I mean, I love Doom. I've played uh, all of them. Don't remember the first one too much because that was a hell of a long time ago. But uh, this is as fast-paced as I remember because, man, when they were playing this game, shit just kept on going off. I mean, that's what there's... There, there's no downtime. There there was, like, only, like, 30 seconds of downtime, and when it was downtime, you ripped off a hand off a dude, and then you put it into the machine to open the door or whatever. That's Doom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was there was like no off time. It was really gruesome. This this I, gameplay. I hope they kept the strippers in there. No, it was just killing monsters. But like, no. still, it was a really gruesome trailer or gameplay footage. Like you like take the dude's foot off and then hit him in the face with it. This is like, all about taking your enemy's body parts and killing other enemies with it. Yeah, it was really cool. Uh, I mean, like, so obviously it's FPS still. Mm-hmm. And uh, the melee combat is, uh, they, they change it up. So what you do is you can shoot the enemy for a while, right? And if they glow blue, that gives you a signal that you can do like a combat takedown. That's or you cool. can keep on shooting them. I mean, personally, I mean, that's fine. I personally would have liked if they If I remember correctly, different. in the first Doom, all you did was punch. <laughs> yeah. But hey, times change. Right. But, uh, I mean, it would have been cooler if there wasn't any indication. You got to figure out that stuff on your own. And just wing it to add a little, like, you know, difficulty at it. But, you know, you get what you get. And who knows, maybe the game Doom is already difficult and just that one gameplay trailer was just... Let's hope it lives up to its reputation. I think it will. Um, And then after that, they went to multiplayer. And the multiplayer looked interesting. Obviously, my internet connection kept on going out, so I didn't get the <laughs> best look at this. So I can't say if the game looked worse in uh, single player or not. Doom. Yeah, no. Uh, I mean, Doom multiplayer. It was in a long trailer. It was, it was, you know, a pretty decently lengthy one. Um, and then after that, they showed off a map editor called Snap Map, Doom Snap Map, which you get to make, uh, you know, your own layout. Put an enemy wherever you want. Put like weapon wherever you want. And people can run through the. Yeah, it's like you. Course. It's like a wave type format, or you can do. I think it's a multi. It's like Little Big Planet with guns. But just Doom. Yeah. And then (laughs) after showcasing that for a while, they went on to the next part, which was another single-player video. 
This time, like, five minutes in length. Still looked exactly the same, you know, gore galore. And then it went. It gave us a, a release date of a very vague one of spring 2016 for the X-Bone, PS4, and PC. X-Bone. Uh, if any of them, I'll probably get it on PC for the highest quality. That doesn't mean on PC Master Race. I just like getting full quality. And sometimes I prefer getting PS4 game, like the versions on PS4, depending on who I'm playing with. Mm. Well, after this E3, like it's, I'm going to be getting a PS4 very soon. I hope so, because we very plan soon. to make that Division clan. And I still don't know if we're making that on PC or PS4. No, yet. we're going to we're gonna do this on PS4. Okay. Chung, you hear that? You got to get a PS4. Ha, ha, ha. Um, so after Doom for which they spent like almost about like 20 minutes on like total, they went to their other game, Battle Cry, Mm -hmm. which is, uh, what is that? Like that MOBA arena game or whatever. Yes. Um, I don't know. I don't care about MOBA. Like I don't care for them too much. Uh, I think you, this would be more in your boat, Uh, but I'm not like that hardcore of a MOBA player. Yeah. And this wasn't a typical like MOBA player. This was, uh, a third person like smite yeah so smite was pretty fun though yeah that's that's what i hear but i still don't play but this is going to be on the console right no i think it's on pc pc yeah i i, I forgot to look up the platforms <laughs> i fucked up no that's but fine. It's okay and then after talking about battle cry and how uh they have the website open so you can get into their beta mm-hmm. um they moved on to dishonored and they showed a new Dishonored 2 trailer, which we both got down for that. So, hey, one full point for both of us. Woo-hoo! <laughs> one step closer to this Applebee's gift card. <laughs> so, uh, it currently stands, I am at two for two. And you are at for one of... One and a oh. One and two. One and two? Yeah. One and two. One and two. And Derek has zero for zero. We'll see if there, his games gets announced by the end. Spoiler alert. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh after they showed off dishonored 2 they showed off the which isn't so too surprising they showed off dishonored 1 definitive edition for ps4 and xbone was it a surprise nah no nah, not really <clears throat> yeah, the everybody's making like definitive editions and like remasters of all their old games they need to come out with newer games well uh, they're doing it so I mean, it's fast and quick money for people that didn't play it on the previous yeah, system. Yeah, that's true. Well, that's why they're not allowing cross-platform. Or compa- uh, uh, backwards compatibility. Yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. Well, it's not that. It, just all, it also wasn't programmed into systems, but like this gives them more of a reason just to do definitive editions and remasters. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that that works. They did it for the PS3, too, where they made like <clears throat> yeah. remasters, remasters of PS2 games. Yeah. Even though the PS3 was like the first PS3 was backwards compatible, uh, all the way to the PS1. Yeah, it was completely backwards compatible. Then it went partially backwards compatible to zero. But hey, can't you can't get everything right? Um, so from Dishonored, they went to Elder Scrolls, and Gabe did put down new Elder Scrolls. Was there new Elder Scrolls in the form of of a card game? But he was he chose. An actual Elder actual Scrolls like game. new El- Elder Scrolls, yeah. So they showed off Elder Scrolls Online, like for PS4 and Xbox. Like, what's mm-hmm. the content coming up to it? And then they showed off this new Elder Scrolls card game called Elder Scrolls Legends, which is supposed to be. It's not like a physical card game. It is a digital one, just like I'm assuming in the same vein uh, as Hearthstone. I hope this does not become a staple, and we get a billion of these like franchises turned into card games. <laughs> uh, oh my god how many people in our group have fallen to hearthstone i mean i play it every now and then well it's good you didn't get addicted to it but i know a couple people that i have. was i was addicted to it when i when first started came, playing yeah, exactly. but then it got old quick yeah, and that's good <laughs> and then after that the whole rest of the conference was just straight fallout i mean <laughs> So there was nothing after this beyond Fallout. So Gabe is at zero of three. Mm-hmm. You 
have chosen Fallout 4 gameplay, which was it's pretty much going to be there. So, like, you know, you, you get that one because it was a safe bet. Yes. And then I did not get Wolfenstein, but I did get the first two. So you and me are tied so far. Ho, ho, ho. And it's on. And then Gabe, I'm sorry, you're dead last. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so anyway, they were, t- do- they were doing Fallout. They did like a single player demo for eight minutes. Uh, looks pretty fucking great. So you start off with this character creation. Would you get to sculpt? So you take your cursor and you sculpt it like however you want. You don't do like... Yes, and all the things on the internet have been making fun of this where you're standing in front of a bathroom mirror. And, and just changing how you look. Mm-hmm. Just like, yeah. And uh, you get a, you get to do it for a male and female. So you get to choose which character you play as and the and other one... gender. Yeah, and then the other one is your spouse, which your kids will be based off of the two of you. Oh, dear. Yeah. So, I mean, that's interesting. I like that. It's pretty cool. So you get to create both both of them, but you only play as one of them. But that character creation, man, Jesus. <laughs> you can do you can do a lot with it. The it's endless customization basically. Oh, well, you can make your that. face look however you want. I mean, yeah. I I can't wait to see what people do. Oh god. This is going to be good. <laughs> Um, and then after they showed off all this gameplay, they went to a, like a one minute gameplay montage of, uh, everything, of all like locations and everything. Uh-huh. Well, not everything, but they just showed off like various locations and set pieces. And then they talked about the pip boy, which is that handheld device in the game mm-hmm. that you use your stats, your inventory, your equipment and all that good stuff. While they're doing that, they showed off uh, the new Pip Boy can uh, play mini games, and they had this one mini game that was like a knockoff of uh, Donkey Kong, where there's literally a dude like throwing barrels at you, and you're the Pip Boy guy just jumping <laughs> over him. And I was just like, Donkey Kong, I'm like, this is not copyright infringement. I'm like, this is exactly the same shit. I mean, as long as it doesn't have Donkey Kong in it. But it's exactly the same then game. Then that's like saying, you know, every MOBA game is the same thing, basically. That is true. But, like, this is, like, a, like almost a complete knockoff. And people have got soon for stuff like this, you know? Like, yeah, but knowing they're, like, like knowing Flappy these Bird. legal Flappy, team. Flappy Bird was like that shit. And people gave him so much flack for, like, you know, just taking shit from Mario. Oh, uh, just the tubes and whatnot. Yeah, and like this one, like literally, the guy comes up, s- like jumps on the stage, and the whole thing. Oh my god! And, yeah, yeah. This is like straight, <laughs> like <laughs> it was just a copy. Maybe they'll let it slide because it's Fallout, and people love. Yeah, maybe Fallout. they won't let it slide because it's not coming to a Nintendo console. <laughs> All right. That's hilarious. <laughs> and then, uh, and then after they showed off that Pip Boy in the game. They showed off an actual replica of it that comes in a collector's edition, which your phone goes into and plays off an Is app. it any phone? And, uh, I, uh, iPhone and uh, Android only. They didn't say Windows. Um, and it will be available at launch. The app will be available at launch. You don't need to have this collector's edition to use the app. It's just I mean, but it'll make, make you app. feel a lot cooler. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> but you'll look so stupid with this thing on your wrist. Probably. And your phone's inside it. (laughs) And then uh, after that, they showed off another Fallout game, a phone game called Fallout Shelter, which uh, you start off in your own vault. You make your own vault. Mm -hmm. And you're the overseer. So you like see everybody and you tell them what to do and whatnot. They each have their own stats. They each level up and they each have every character you have in there has their own equipment and everything. It'll be. It's probably just gonna be like those uh, other phone games, like Monopoly, whatever. And then our v- audio cut out. So now we missed the last couple of Fallout stuff, but like, hey, it's, it's Fallout. Fallout. You guys, <laughs> you guys know this stuff. Um, but we're just gonna move on and continue on, and go to Microsoft. I don't know why I just threw that away because it was all about Microsoft info. Um. Uh, we're not going to consider montage as part of the, you know, how the conference starts. We're just going to start off with the first thing they actually show. Mm-hmm. And the first thing Microsoft started with was the Halo 5 trailer, which then went into gameplay. 
co-op gameplay that did not star the Master Chief. Because you're hunting him. Yes, you are hunting him. Master Chief and is like, a bad you know, Obviously, guy. the game looks like Halo. Nothing new about it. Right. Uh, I mean, will I play it? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't lie. I don't have an Xbox. So, like, you know, an I Xbox. can't play even if I can, even if I wanted to. I haven't played a Halo game since ODST. That was an amazing game, though. You know, I and it gets a lot game. of flack. And I was like, hey, it was something out of, like, you know, something different. Right. But not a lot of people enjoyed it, apparently, or whatever. I don't know. I enjoyed it. That was the last one I played and never touched Halo after that. And then after Halo, they went on to a game, a new game by Kenji Inafune. If you people know who Kenji Inafune is, come on, you know who he is. Mommy. He made the blue guy. There's two Smurfs. He made two blue guys in video games. I mean, no, he made one. He Sonic. Made one. He made one. I'm sorry. Not two. He made one of the two blue guys. Blue guys. Falco? No. Fal- he used to work for Capcom. Trying to blank Blue here. guy. Machine. Robot. Mega Man? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I'm surprised I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was like, I was like, if one person got this, it's Derek. Nope, <laughs> nope. Um, he they showed off his company's new game called Recore, where he, like, is this girl with this robot like dog type thing? Of course, does like, have a robot in it, and it's like scavenging places, and then like they're in a the fight, and then the robot breaks, and it's like, oh my god, you died! And then puts takes the orb from this her th- dog thing and throws it in this giant robot that's just happens to be lying down near them <laughs> and then that comes back to life and it's so like, rush died yeah and then it was like welcome back and i was just like okay so i'm assuming this orb is like a ai and you can switch it from device to device or to like you know from machine to machine so that's you what my sim phones. card is yeah <laughs> from different phone to different phone <laughs> <laughs> and uh they didn't show any gameplay of it it was just a straight trailer and then uh after that Microsoft dropped their one of their biggest bombshells of the night. Backwards compatibility is coming to Xbox One this fall. Okay. So now you can play some of your favorite Xbox 360 games on your Xbox One. Hey, good on them, man. They're basically trying to do it. Sony tried to do. What? With the PS3 and the backwards compatibility. No. Well, there's a difference, though. Sony took it away. <laughs> Yeah, see now they like they switched. I mean, they didn't really switch because they never they never started off with backwards compatibility this round. That's yeah, true. And then Microsoft was like, "Let us add it." And so what? You just download something that? Uh, it's gonna be like an update. They have like a, a um, I want to say a sneak peek going on right now for like people in the program or whatever with the like a select few games. And then by fall, when this thing officially officially launches, it's supposed to be able to play a hundred games. There will be a list of it online. They you they showcased Mass Effect with it, the Ooh. first one, which I know you still have to play. Uh huh. I'm just gonna buy it on Steam. <laughs> and then uh, so they showed off Xbox compa- backwards compatibility for a while. And then they had a trailer for a new goddamn fucking controller. The Xbox Elite controller, a wireless controller. Like, did did we need to fucking see a video of this thing? Did you say wireless? They're all wireless. <laughs> I know. It doesn't even fucking matter. I don't know why they had to show like a minute or two minute long trailer for a fucking controller. Who knows? It's probably because like when the first rumor came out, they spent like millions of dollars testing the controller. You should just go back to the Xbox controller. Nope. <laughs> Where it takes like five people to hold it. And then after that. Bethesda uh, spokesman showed up. The game director of Fallout 4 showed off a new trailer of Fallout over here. Uh. And it was like, it was completely new though. It was completely new footage. They actually showed you getting into your suit, armored suit, and start going in. Um, It was five minutes. It's like, what can I say? Just like the last one, Bethesda, it's Fallout, it's Fallout. It looks exactly the same. I mean, more polished than three, obviously, better looking than three, and more features than three. But all they showed off in this one was single player footage. And then after that, they announced that they were going to be allowing mods on the console version. 
Ooh. I don't know if it's specifically just for Xbox or it's for all three of them. I'm assuming it's going to be for all three of them regardless. They just announced the mod at this one. Probably. I could be wrong. And then they announced that Fallout 3 will come with Fallout 4 exclusively on Xbox One. You mean Fallout 4 will come with Fallout 3? Yeah. You so said you Fallout 3 will come with Fallout 4. Oh, I'm 4. sorry. Yeah, Fallout 4 will come with Fallout 3. Now, I mean, I guess that's... That's a that's pretty a, good that's, deal. That's, yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, but if you haven't played the third one, there's your chance. I mean, yeah. But as far as I know, this is an Xbox exclusive. So, That's PlayStation fine. fanboys, sorry, <laughs> you have to get it on PS3 or PC. Um, and then EA came up to the stage, and yay, 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 yay. <laughs> no, no, uh, they came up on stage at Microsoft, and uh, they announced they they talked about that whole EA exclusive thing they got with Microsoft called EA Access, and how they for like five dollars a month you can access their games and whatnot. Or whatever, like the specific ones they have, and they announced that Titanfall and Dragon Age Inquisition's coming, and it was like a fucking five minute advertisement of them just trying to sell this fucking program. <laughs> They're like, "Hey, man, we got Titanfall, and we got Dragon Age Inquisition coming, and you get to try all this like player packs and whatever for five ten dollars." I'm like, "Get the fuck <laughs> out of here! No one gives a fuck." And then, Plants vs Zombie Two was announced, Garden Warfare Two, and then. It looked exactly like you know the, like the first one. They added some stuff actually. They added Z- aliens. What? So plants versus zombies and, and aliens. aliens. Essentially, yes. And then, uh, one of my first bets. Oh no, I changed it. That's right. I said Forza, <laughs> and then I was like, Nah, let me change that to Crackdown Three. <laughs> Man, did I give away a point? <laughs> it wouldn't matter because that point would have been taken away anyways because Forza was announced before. E3, they just oh, showed yeah. off the first trailer. And then, after Forza, they showcased the new trailer for Dark Souls 3. Looks fucking awesome. They actually had, I think, uh, at E3, this, like, setup for Dark Souls. Did they? Mm-hmm, where it's, like, some guy was holding a sword into this other dude's chest. <laughs> and then, like, That's every awesome. now and then, like, fog would come out from, like, the stab wound. A word? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I love the dark. I love the Soul series in general. So, like you know, I'll I like watching check it out. people play it. Uh, I mean, well, here's the thing. I have the second one. Did I beat it? Nah, because halfway through of it, I was like, "Fuck this! I don't even care anymore." I beat Demon Souls. I beat Dark Souls one, and I beat Bloodborne. I gotta beat Dark Souls two. And now I'm gonna get Dark Souls three, which <laughs> is uh, coming out next year. And then Ubisoft games were on the stage. And it went started off with the the vision first, which is the game we're looking most forward to yes. to play as a group. I've been waiting for this game for, for like a long ass years. Time. Yep. And then from there, they went to Rainbow Six Siege trailer, which they I think they showed off a new map, which was them on an airplane and That's saving hostages from there. Yeah, it was it was pretty cool. And then from there, they went to uh, this whole indie just like galore thing, which was pretty cool. But, like, you know, there's too much indie stuff to, like, even talk about. So, we're just going to skip over it. Right. And then they showed off Tomb Raider, which they announced was going to be at their press conference. They showed gameplay of it. It was live gameplay, which was a plus. I love live gameplay, so we know we can say, it's not bullshit. (laughs) And then my most exciting part happened, which might make me get... It's not really worth getting an X-Bone just for this. Essentially, since I own half the games already, but Rare announced a Rare Replay, which is thirty old school games from their thirty oh, years yes. of uh, thirty years of existence. They chose thirty of their hundred games, which the uh, that did not include licensing issues like GoldenEye and all that stuff, mm-hmm. and are releasing thirty of them for thirty dollars, a dollar each game, which isn't bad because we know some of the games in there: Banjo and Kazooie. Oh yeah. Uh Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Uh Perfect Dark. Oh my god. Viva Piñata. <laughs> Viva Piñata. Uh, so like it includes not Aren't just Are they coming out with the second Viva Piñata? That already came out on 360. And I think that both of them are in this package. See, that's the thing. This package is not just old school games, it's including 360 games too. So like, you know, that's 
That's that's good. That's a really good deal. Yeah, thirty games for thirty dollars. It's a it's a Steam sale that comes out in, in August <laughs> for the Xbox One. And then they announced a new game themselves called Sea of Thieves, which seems like to be an MMO or an online game where you play as pirates Arr. and attack one another. Can I be Pirate King? Yeah, sure. You can call yourself Luffy and try to do the best nah, you can. Nah, I feel like people are going to do that already. <laughs> yeah, probably. And then they showed off a CGI trailer of uh, Fable Legends, which I still don't know how that game is. Uh, last thing I remember reading about it like a year or two ago was that people hated it. Isn't it multiplayer? Yeah, it's multiplayer. It's co-op multiplayer, I believe. And then they showed off the VR. HoloLens, which isn't just VR. You wear these glasses. They have a camera. Project is a hologram for you wearing these glasses. So what they did was they had Minecraft. They were playing it on TV, projected onto this table, and the Minecraft world came out. And then you had a 3D view of Minecraft. That's cool. Or would this be considered 4D? I don't even know. Point is, they had a virtual augmented reality thing, and Minecraft showed up, and she was playing with the controller, and the guy was able to see everything she was doing in the world from a top-down view. That's cool. Now, how is this going to look in reality? Because this was an E3 thing. Who knows? Who knows? But no, people went to their booth and said they saw other demos, and they saw Halo one. They're like, it's fucking awesome. But here's the thing. How well in reality will it work while you're gaming? Because that takes a a couple of processing power. How expensive is this shit going to be? Right? Oh, my God. Like, There's too many unanswered questions. Like, yeah, it seems awesome. It sounds amazing from what people are saying. But, like, yo, pricing is a big factor in this. If it costs too much, why bother? Do you remember how when the 3DS was first announced and they had demos at E3? Yeah, and people were like, how much is this 3D handheld device going to cost? 3D is not cheap. Right. And it was like that new 3D where they're like, you don't even need glasses. And too low- pretty. <laughs> yeah, too pretty. And people were like, that's kind of pricey. Then and they dropped down to They one. dropped the price in less than a fucking year. So let's see what Microsoft does. All, all of this VR, it's all about how much you charge for it, which is going to be interesting. And then to end it off, they went into Gears of War. And they announced the remaster, which was already leaked beforehand. Uh, new textures, 1080p, 60 frames per second, Xbox One, and yada, PC. Yada. And then they did the thing I did not expect them to do because they said it was a long ways off. They shut off Gears of War 4. <laughs> <laughs> they showed it off. Gameplay. Like five minutes, like a couple of minutes of it. So, Derek. You get that point. <laughs> Damn straight. As for me, I call the rare game platformer specific. There are platformer games in there. <laughs> I don't know how much you want to give me. Point seventy five. I think a half a point. Half a point. Damn man, I don't even get point seventy five. We we what? <laughs> point seventy five wasn't even an option. That just makes things even more complicated. No, it's it? an option. I was gonna give you point seventy five for something. All right, fine then. Point seventy five. No, oh, fuck you, dude. I'm giving you 0.5 because you give me point. No, I'm just joking. I deserve 0.5. <laughs> I got half of it right. I got a rare game, eh, but it wasn't fully platformer. Yeah, it's a bunch of platformer games plus other games in one. <laughs> if it was just platformers, you would have gotten the full point. Oh, really? No, I wouldn't have taken that. I would have taken like a 0.75 for that because I said it would be just a one platformer game. Oh. So I got the rare game part right and platformer part like not specifically but like you know partially yeah that's so i'll true. take half on that i get nothing for crackdown there's no crackdown did was there a new ip partner nope <laughs> so x on that <laughs> and then you you did not get dance central damn it <laughs> you did get gears of war aha and then you did not get new vr no but I'll, i said i'll give you half because they showcased it so we're still tied aren't we yeah no, no, no. You're up by one full point now. Woo! Because we both got a half on this round, but plus you got one for New Gears of War. Yeah. And then uh, Gabe, X, X, <laughs> <laughs> new IP counts because Rare made a new game, which is that yeah. pirate game. So, Gabe, you're finally on the board. <laughs> with Uno points. <laughs> yeah, with Uno points. Um, 
shit, man. If only I stuck with four as a six instead of saying fucking crack down fucking three. <laughs> I or can any- already taste the Applebee's. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You want an Applebee's gift card. <laughs> All right, so final uh, points going right now. You are 3.5 of 6. I am at 2.5 of 6. And Gabe is 1 of 6. Hey, my ratio is over half by 0.5. <laughs> That's true. Fuck you. <laughs> hey, at least Gabe is finally on the board. And then after Microsoft, we went to the one that we really care about the least about, right? EA. EA. Oh, I care about the least of them. Yeah, I don't and care about EA. Let's go with our... Well, I care about their one, like, franchi- two franchises now, Star Wars and Battlefield. That's true. That's all they got going for them, though. Um, let's go with our bets. So we e- we are getting rid-, uh, rid of a lot of them because they were already announced. They just showcased it. So everybody's first choice is out, which was Madden and FIFA. <laughs> <laughs> well, mine was Madden, and you and Gabe were FIFA. So our number one choices are out. <laughs> <laughs> and then on the second one, you I chose Medal of Honor. You chose New Madden, which is out. Mm-hmm. And then Gabe chose Battlefield Five. And then I went with New Plants vs Zombies, uh, Mirror's Edge Two gameplay by you, and New Sims by Gabe. Uh. Fuck EA. (laughs) Spoiler alert on this one. Gabe, you got zero again. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, But EA started off their press conference with a one, like a less than a minute long teaser of Mass Effect Andromeda. I should have just said Mass Effect. Which is funny because... Oh, wait, no. You changed your Madden to Mass Effect. That's right. Did I? Yeah. So, you actually got a point. <laughs> nice job, Derek. You're welcome. Oh, wait. No, we were stupid. You called... <laughs> I'm looking at my sheet now. You called Mass Effect 4 for Ubisoft. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, Derek. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> That's too funny. That's why I was gauging that you were winning, but now I realize you said that for Ubisoft. <laughs> Surprisingly, none of us called you out on that. <laughs> I, I get away with a lot of things. Yeah. Like Capcom versus fucking Final Fantasy. We'll get to that later. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, they started off with Mass Effect and Andromeda. You would have got this point if you said it for EA. And said it for uh, <laughs> it's fuck <okay>. you, EA. <laughs> You're going to blame them on this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because you don't believe it's an EA franchise? <laughs> Yeah. Well, they started off with Master Effect on Dropout, a one-minute teaser. They say it's coming out next year, 2016 holiday. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you're upset. I'm so because salty you're, right now. Because you're like, oh, man, I'm one away from my Applebee's <laughs> gift card. I can already taste it. <laughs> and then after that, they showed off the new Need for Speed, which actually looked really cool to me. I'm actually looking forward to it. Uh, they showed it with gameplay. I believe it's coming out this year. And then they showed off Star Wars, the Old Republic MMO, a new expansion called Knights of the uh, Fallen, which is a free expansion as long as you're a subscriber, I believe. Not bad. It, the CGI trailer looked fucking awesome, like all Star Wars CGI trailers usually do. Yeah. But, like, who knows about gameplay? But, uh, hey, I loved Star Wars, the Old uh, the old Republic MMO. Nobody played it with me in this group nope. besides uh, two of our friends. We had one day where we were uh, going hunting. We were uh, Sith Lords or Jedis. What were you hunting? Oh, we were just hunting players. Wow. They were doing quests and we were fucking with them. And we fucked with them for a good hour or two. And they gave up. (laughs) They just left the planet. And then we got wrecked by this one player who killed all three of us by himself. Damn. Which was weird because I was like literally... Eight or ten levels higher than this one dude. Hackers. The I don't I don't know maybe maybe not. When I looked online, it was because that class was extremely broken and went before they got respect. Oh uh, yeah. But it was still fun when we were fucking around with people. I mean, that's fun to do in any MMO. Huh? 
to this yeah, yeah, yeah that is fun. I mean, at one point they were like literally attacking us for being assholes. Like I think they called reinforcement to our planet, the planet we were fucking with them on, and they entered our republic territory and started destroying our turrets and every NPCs and shit. And then they were like trying to kill me and uh, I was playing with Nelson and Dave Fam. Damn man, we got wrecked that day. Because they were all level fifties, and they were <laughs> Nelson and uh, Dave were level thirty. I was forty two. <laughs> we got rocked. <laughs> That's you get for fucking with people. <laughs> yep. <laughs> After that, they announced a new IP called Unravel, which is like a yarn character. It's side scrolling, not two D, like art style. It's like a two point five D. So I was like depth, but it's still side scrolling. Oh. Um. I said there would be a new. Uh, I said that for Ubisoft, so I didn't get anything for this either. Fuck you, EA. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sing, they got me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, uh, then uh, they showed off Plants vs Zombie Two: Garden Warfare, and guess who saw it? Called that when everybody said no in disbelief. Gabe. Mm, yeah. No, I got it. Because everybody kept on telling me, "No, it's not gonna be there." You're well, right. whatever. You're right. I'm still hoping for Final Fantasy. Now you are me and Tide. <laughs> Damn it. And then after that, they showed off their sports game, starting off with NHL, then uh, NBA Live. And then they showed off a phone game in the middle of it for some odd fucking reason called uh, Minions Paradise. You know, based on the Minions from uh, mm-hmm. Despicable. It's a phone game. Then they went to FIFA, <laughs> back to sports. They went to FIFA, and uh, they had a FIFA legend, a, sport, a soccer legend come out there, Pele. Pele. As you know, considered one of the greatest players of all time. Yes. He showed up there and talked for like 10 minutes for some reason. About what? I don't even remember. I zoned out during that. I think I actually fell asleep during that and woke <laughs> up like near the end, where they showed off the new FIFA 16 mode where they announced the female franchise will be in there now. So women's soccer is now in FIFA. And then they showed off Mirror's Edge Catalyst gameplay. You get one. You remember I'm that one specifically. I'm so <laughs> happy. <laughs> <laughs> and then they went back to sports, Madden 16, and they revealed a new feature called Multi Draft, where you can actually play Draft Day. Like, you know, be like, oh I pick God. him in. The- yeah, they're going really in on these sports games. Don't know why. In the sports. future, they're going to be like, raise your own athlete. <laughs> Probably. And then they showed off Battlefront gameplay on Hoth. Oh, uh, with like Darth up. Vader and stuff? It was fucking amazing. It was, I, I saw that. It was, oh so, my god. this round, all of us, besides Gabe, <laughs> because he said there would be a new Battlefield 5 and new Sims. Nope. <laughs> but you and me both got our last ones. I got Plants vs. Zombie 2, and you got I got your, my Mirror's Edge. You got your Mirror's Edge. And then I did not get my Medal of Honor, and the rest were disqualified. Rest disqualified, yes. But hey, out of the first three conferences, I am now 3.5 of 9. <laughs> That's so bad. You are 4.5 of 9, and Gabe is 1 for 9. <laughs> Gabe, I'm sorry. <laughs> Why, watch Gabe come back in the end. Yo. I'd be fucking amazed if he does. He probably will. We'll see. Anything can happen. Are, uh, it's not over thing. yet. Yeah, it isn't. And then it was time for Ubisoft. And Ubisoft was kind of like short, long. I don't know how I would say it. Um, they started off theirs with the greatest game of all time, a new South Park RPG. Or like a new South Park game called South Park the Fractured Butthole. <laughs> it's not spelled butthole like, you know, an actual anus. But it is spelled butt, B-U-T, and then hole as in a, a whole pie. <laughs> Interesting wording. And it is not based on a fantasy. The trailer showed them starting off as a fantasy with a stick in the toilet. They took it out and then they were going to continue playing. And then they were chasing down, you know, whoever the villain was. And it was Butters. Mm-hmm. And Butters was dressed up as his uh character and he was like how are you gonna stop me now coon and friends so then it turned into everybody turning into their superhero aliases 
So this one is going to be based off their superhero. I mean, Cthulhu is going to make an appearance. I hope so. <laughs> Yo, the coon and Cthulhu? That was like the best part. <laughs> South Park made Cthulhu so famous. Yeah, I know. But yo, Coon, Mysterion, yeah, can't wait to see them again. And I believe it's probably coming out, uh, I forget if they gave a release date or not. They said they weren't going to make another South Park game because this one took a lot out of them. But they're like, now they know how to, like how the game development works that they, mm-hmm. they did it again. Which I think this is going to become like a series now, like, you know, just have a video game and everything. Which is pretty cool because is South Park as a video game, as we've seen with Stick of Truth, really holds up. Then they showed a new IP called For Honor, a medieval game, like a medieval, like, you know, set time game with, uh, it's, I think it's like a versus game. So what you do is you're part of a group. Like, I think there's like two or three groups and your battalion is attacking the little like NPC soldiers Mm -hmm. while there's a player controlling, like, you know, one player, essentially the commander and the commanders battle it out. After like making their way through to each other, it's really interesting. I would like to give it a look. You should look it up. It looked p- pretty good. Don't. Uh, I don't know uh, when the beta is, but they said there will be a beta for people to try out. It sounds interesting. Yeah, I'd say we give it a try. I like those type of games. Uh, it'll be interesting to see. And then after that, you know, they had their own racing game, just like Need for Speed and all mm-hmm. that. They had something called The Crew. Which did pretty good, I'm assuming. Not too, not too sure about that. They announced a new expansion called Wild Run, and they showed off a trailer for it. it. Looks pretty good. Then they did something weird, and showed off Trials Fusion. Great game. But this one's called Trials Fusion. Trials Fusion Awesome Level Max Expansion Pack, which had like unicorns and shit in it. What? Yeah, like I. That's what the trailer had. So I'm like confused at what this fucking expansion is. Oh my god. And then. The moment I waited for, they showed off a new gameplay trailer of The Division. And I can talk about like this one specific trailer, five, six minute trailer, for like a hot minute. Why? Because there was some shit going on in this. So it was a party of three. They are going through this, uh, and uh, I think it was called Deadlands or something. And they were just going through, uh, you know, trying to figure out what to do. They're going to, like, attack these NPCs they found. And then they ran into two players, two other players that were in the party. Mm-hmm. And then they were like, let's see what they do. Are they going to attack us or not? Then they started attacking the NPCs. Those, these two random players started attacking the NPCs. And like, well, fuck it. Let's help them. And then they started helping. They looted. And then they were going to extract themselves. And they were like, I guess this other team's coming with us. So they all start moving to the extraction point. They call in the heli. The heli's coming in a minute. Uh, the heli comes, and they're like, holding the ground nobody's attacking them and the helicopter shows up they have a minute to board the helicopter and they're like i'm kind of interested in what loot they have fucking go in on these two random players that join oh them. my god <laughs> they gun them the fuck down <laughs> and and then they were like and then one of the other th- on the team that gunned them down the one of the players is on the ground he's uh, like bleeding out so you have to you know heal mm-hmm. him back up and the other one's looting the other character and so the third person's like they're like yo Third person, help uh, revive me while she's looting. Goes to his party menu, leaves the fucking party, guns down the person looting the person, and then guns down the person that asked for the revive. Loots them, and walks the fuck away. Oh my god. (laughs) The betrayal was so real. (laughs) I was just like... You can't trust anybody Yeah, I know. I was just like... like, You even hear it. He's like, hey, what are you doing? Are you fucking leaving the party? The chat cut because he left the party. And I was just like, well, damn. <laughs> I was like, the betrayal is so real. And they had music playing in the background, too, to make it even worse. And I was just <laughs> like, holy shit. I'm like, Jung or Derek or any of you motherfuckers do this shit to me. <laughs> I, I'd probably do that. <laughs> shit ain't going to fly. Like, we're not going to be friends Yeah, yeah no, that, friendship going to be broken. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, nah, you, I'm not going to talk to you. You looted me. <laughs> Yo, man, that shit was like hardcore betrayal, dude. If I see that shit happen in our gameplay, yo. You guys have never played with me again. <laughs> probably the not. The trust would be broken. You know, we'd probably form a party just to fucking hunt you down. <laughs> That'd be fun. <laughs> I, I, I'm i down for that. <laughs> and then, so after that crazy gameplay video of The Division, 
they announced a new city building game called uh Anno A N N O how do you say that Anno? Oh no. Twenty twenty five. So you build a city in 2025? It's a, it's a space city building game. So, like, you're going in space, like, colonizing. So, like, other 10 planets. years from now, we'll be... It's probably not going to happen, obviously, but, like, you know, they're just doing this. Then after that, they did something weird. Just Dance. Uh, that's not weird. They had this game. It's really popular. It sells well for them. But what they did have was Jason Derulo coming up and start singing uh. while people were playing Just Dance to his song in the background. Uh. <laughs> and then he had an awkward moment like on stage while talking to Aisha Tyler since she's been uh, hosting these Ubisoft press conferences for the law. I think this is her fourth year mm-hmm. because she's that popular and people always want her back, I guess. But hey, it's better than caffeine guy. That guy was <laughs> wild. And then they showed off a new Rainbow Six uh, game mode called Terror Hunt. It's not new. It's making a comeback. So what this one is, it's like you're going inside houses and like you know, just hunting terrorists. Uh, they announced the the fusion bomb, uh, bomb diffusing mode, where you go into like, you're diffusing bombs, taking out enemies. It's like endless waves and all that stuff. Uh, looks really good. This really requires teamwork. If you play with randoms, I do not even want to imagine how it goes. Right. Because like everything they showed up the, like whenever they play this game, they have people with headsets and like actually communicating with each other you need actual friends for this and as we know a lot of people don't plug in their headsets in this in these uh systems and if they do it's just to talk shit how are you gonna talk shit in a cooperative game people will find a way somehow i guarantee yeah, you. yeah i saw but this like, picture <laughs> from like call of duty it's like fucking your mom since 2010 <laughs> but jesus man uh it looks great i want to get it but i want to only get it if i know other people getting it because I don't want to play this. Because I wouldn't want to play it with randoms. Randoms would make me angry, especially if they don't listen to you or I have their headsets in. Because if I'm gonna be like, yeah, there's two behind the door, so let's go around, and the motherfucker just opens the door and just starts running in, <laughs> I'll be extremely pissed off. Those are the the twelve year olds that get their hands on the game. And then they announced a new game called Trackmania. Well, not new, but I'm assuming new in the franchise or whatever. Which is like a track racing game thing type of th- nonsense. And then they showed off a CGI trailer for Assassin's Creed. Yeah. yeah. And then they ended it with the greatest trailer of all. Ghost Recon. Wildlands. Did you see this? No, but it I heard looks about it. fucking crazy. It's sandbox. Graphics look amazing. And there's so much shit you can do in here. And I believe it has co op. I'm not 100% sure on that. But like, yo, damn. I'll not lie, this one Ubisoft's press conference for me. Like, that was the game changer for that whole conference. The Division trailer and the Ghost Recon Wildlands trailer. That was it. I really hope they don't fuck up the Division. I don't think they will. But let's see what we all did. I forgot to say what we all bet on in the beginning. So let's just go down our number one picks first. You and both eyes had New Rayman. Nope. Nope. And Gabe said New Prince of Persia. (laughs) Hell no. (laughs) Ubisoft, second bet was Watch Dogs 2. Nope, that was me. You picked Splinter Cell. Nope. Nope. You were close. If you said Ghost Recon, (sighs) damn. Uh, Gabe said some new thing about Rainbow Six Siege. He got that. They announced a new mode and everything. One. Damn, he got another point. Um... You, I said new IP, side-scrolling 2D. Did not get that at all. Nah. I said Mass Effect. You said Mass Effect 4. <laughs> no, nah. No. <laughs> and then Gabe said new IP, which they did get one. Oh, Gabe is... For Gabe Honor. Got, called For Honor. Gabe got so, two points. So now the score stands for us the same. You are still at 4.5. Mm-hmm. I'm at 3. Point five. Point five. I'm a point ahead. Yeah, three point five. And Gabe has what? Gabe is at three. Oh, Gabe's catching up to you. He's catching up to you too. <laughs> well, I'm only a point away. But yeah, those are the first four conference. Uh, this will be the end of our part one. Um, damn, how wrong were we? Right. We are not even in a twenty-five. We, you are barely in the thirty-three <laughs> percent. I'm barely in twenty-five percent, and Gabe is barely in twenty-five percent. <laughs> Gabe just recently <laughs> got into the barely twenty-five <laughs> percent. Yeah. Oh man, Jesus, how wrong can you get? 
Whew. It's not even wrong. Well, you you put one bet that should have been in another <laughs> conference. <laughs> you were one away from like you were really close on a couple of them. Really close, but not no cigar. close enough. Yeah. Like if you said you got you were close by the same I just love as, Splinter Cell too much. Yeah. I mean, but you see what you got right was the Tom Clancy part. It was the Tom right. Clancy game. I should have just said Tom Clancy. A new Tom Clancy game? That would have been worked. That would have worked. Damn it. Well, you would have got a half a point because it wasn't a new Half a point is better than no yeah, point. that's true. I would have been at five. five. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll end it there, and then we'll start off again next uh, with Sony because mm-hmm. uh, we only have three remaining ones. We got Sony, Nintendo, and, and Square, Square Enix. Square Enix. Uh, and uh, it looks like Gabe will be joining us for the second part. So we'll take a quick break, and we'll see you again for the second part.